Hey guys, Tia here with a quick natural twisted hairstyle. Um, this is reminiscent of, uh, let's see, the ponytail, I guess, a cascading ponytail. It's really simple and it's pretty quick. I ended up making it be a little bit longer because of my, um, what do you call it, pompadour situation. I didn't have enough definition in the front, but I'll show you what I did. Okay, you start by sectioning off the front. Um, I'm doing this on a stretched out hairstyle. I don't know how it will work on straight up coils, but if you have a stretched out um, or old flat iron or even a blowout, this would do really good. All I have in my hair is my usual castor oil mixed with aloe vera gel. So that allows me to have the definition and still have the pliability. It's very soft and okay. I'm gonna have to let y'all know. I did a lot of dancing in in this video and I apologize for that, but I was playing Beyonce's We Like to Party and y'all know that's the jam and so I couldn't even help it, but okay, sorry about that though. <laughs> Back to the tutorial. So we've got the bang sectioned off, we've got um one two two horizontal parts which lead to three sections in the back you'll see so I sectioned off the top portion of that and now I'm sectioning off the middle portion of that I lined up the second one the second portion with the first portion um, they're di it's directly under the for the first portion and I'm using like some old stretched out um, I mean some stretch headbands instead of the actual ponytail holders they give me a lot more room and stretchability and cause less damage that I find okay and um, the hair has a lot of definition it's very soft because of the aloe vera gel and the castor oil mix so I'm able to do pretty much whatever I want with it and it gave me a good stretch okay so here's where I start the twisting I'm going into that middle section you could start at whichever section you want work with here that is not dry I'm s there I spritzed some aloe vera gel and castor oil on my ends and that way when I went to separate I wasn't ripping the ends off so um, how many twists should you do it's up to you I wanted mine to look kind of fat and bubbly if that makes any sense so I only did three plus remember this is supposed to be a quick style so I only did three one of the things that I didn't do that I should have done in this was kind of um, fatten up the twist after I did the twist I was supposed to go through and kind of pull them apart a little bit so that they were more full and a little bit sloppy looking these look really you know neat the style calls for it to be a little bit fatter so that it'll cover up any spaces and just look really you know chunky but so you can do that when you do this style I use some bobby pins to kind of line up the twist I didn't show you guys when I twisted up that top section I didn't want to bore you it's the same thing I did about three twists in the top section three twists in the middle section and here I am twisting up the bottom section keeping it moist while I'm doing my separation and I did add some um, shea butter of my shea butter mixture that I was on a stretch y'all I was trying to stretch this style out for the next day as well because I did take it down the next day to go out and it was super stretched and really soft and pliable because all I had in it was the aloe vera gel mixed with the castor oil and then some of this shea butter um, mango butter mix that I did okay so here I am twisting up the last of the ends and just a quick note about the castor oil aloe vera gel mix it didn't hold down my sides like super clean like the eco styler gel would but it it held its own it slicked back my flyaways and um, on the good side of it is when I took down my hair the next day to wear it out you know I didn't have to deal with any crunchy hair and stuff like that so that was that was really good that's something to consider when you're doing styling the products that you put in it based on your plans for the hair the next day do you plan to wash it um, if not will you have to wash it because of what you have in it um, okay so here's the quick way for this style it called for this pompadour 
which looked okay. I guess I could have wore it, but I felt like I didn't have enough definition or crinkle in my bang area. So this was just one styling option for this hairdo. A pompadour, um, slicked back. It looked all right. But I opted for the twist. I don't know why, because I, I guess I was just feeling the music and I was in no rush to go anywhere right then and there. So I guess I just sat there, listened to the music some more, and um, twisted up the front. It took a minute, but um, and it so it ended up not being so so quick like the pompadour would. But it's another style alternative. It's another style option, yeah. And then when I took it down the day after, you know, I had that nice cute little definition from the twist in the front. So oh my gosh, I really was having and feeling this music, y'all. Just feeling it. You, you know how that goes okay so I'm done twisting it out I'll give you the 360 view of how this style works and this is a really cute style for the kitties too um, I've, I'm gonna show y'all my mature twist on it don't worry don't worry but I mean this is a cute you know kicking it styling for any age range really um, I put my little twists on it I, I pinned back my twist and then I'm gonna show you a few more styles that I did with it to kind of dress it up okay so the first thing I'm doing is just aligning um, the twists to kind of interbraid with each other and you can do this however you want to I was just playing with it and sticking some bobby pins underneath and stuff this gives a kind of cascading look to the ponytail and uh, an uninterrupted cascading look so I like that okay so you need a lot of bobby pins for this um, just to get things st strategically placed like I said the ca castor oil and aloe vera gel mix slick back the edges really good and helped give it a nice stretch for the next day when I took down this pony's tail style again you can wear this for a few days this is um, easily maintained okay here I am on to the next style which is um, kind of doing a little chignon with it, pinning up the ends, and this is a really good protective styling. Everything's tucked in, everything's tucked under. I know um, mine, I kind of had the the bottom section off to the, veered off to the side a little bit, which gave my chignon kind of like a slanted look, which I didn't mind, that was something different. I like it different. And this is what I was talking about, messing with your twists or, or braids to kind of make them look a little bit meatier and less uniform and less you know tailored I that's a different look It's something you could play with and see the difference that it makes in this style okay so I'm putting it back down to the cascading because that's that's how I wore it for that day and I enjoyed it it gave me a nice stretch it held moisture really well and I had fun with it I hope you guys liked it. We thank you for watching, beautiful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.